So as you're working in Salesforce, you may start to notice duplicates in your org. I'm going to go into a contact record for Tom James here. This is a sample contact record in my free Salesforce account. And I'm going to go ahead and clone this contact record and show you the potential duplicate warning. So similar records exist. Now behind the scenes, there are some standard duplicate rules that are set up to alert you whenever there's a potential duplicate, but it allows you to go ahead and save and skip past this. And in the real world, Users or salespeople often, if they have a new lead or new contact record, they may not pay close attention to this and just save it as their own record, thus introducing duplicates. I'm going to show you in this video how you can help troubleshoot what's happening and how you can hone in on your duplicate rules to make those better performing and ways that you can see whenever there's been duplicate alerts in your org, whether you've been the one alerted or other users as well. And so I have created a duplicate here. If I go back into my contacts tab for my list view here, we've got a couple of duplicates for Tom James and Sandra Eberhardt. Now you can merge these into one contact record, but what I want to show you is this concept of duplicate alerts and duplicate record sets. Now I'm going to click on duplicate record sets and it defaults to a recently viewed list view. Now before I start recording, I clicked on the gear icon and clicked new to create a new list view and that would be for all duplicate alerts. And this will give you a listing of any potential duplicate alerts that have been fired in your org. And if you notice here, looking at the time, these were just a few minutes apart. The second one is the one I did on this recording and I had done one previous to recording here. Now you can investigate further this alert by clicking on it. And it's just auto numbered alert. You see the duplicate rule that caused this uh, to be created. And then you can go to related and you can see the related records for these duplicates and you can see more details and more details on who triggered this alert therefore figuring out who is introducing duplicates in your org and these are known as duplicate record items these are related records related to the duplicate record set so we have the parent duplicate record set and then these child records that are duplicate record items. These are also auto numbered. So over time, you may have a lot of alerts in your org. And so in addition to doing a list view, you can also create a report for these duplicate record sets, okay? So if I go in and click more and select reports from the standard report types, there's not a standard duplicate record set available to us as far as the standard report types, but you can create a custom report type for these duplicate record sets. So if I go into setup and search for report type, you can create a custom report type. I'm gonna click continue in this instance, uh, clicking new custom report type. I'm gonna have the primary object be contacts. I'll call this contact duplicates. And I've given this a description that this custom report type will report on potential duplicate alerts on contacts store in the category of accounts and contacts. So that's the folder to file that in or the category to file this custom report type in. And since the primary object is contacts, I've elected to store in the category of accounts and contacts. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to deployed, even though if you were working in production instance, I would encourage you to just have it in development until it's ready. So I'm going to say deployed though and click next and I've selected contacts as the primary object. And so now I need to relate another object and here is where I can select the duplicate record items and also duplicate record sets. And actually while I'm at this step, here is a help article that goes into more details on create reports on duplicate records and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on going into report types and creating a report type and I just selected contact and then you can also relate duplicate record items. And I'll link to this help article as well. And so I'm going to select duplicate record items. I want this report to report on any contacts where every contact must have at least one related B record, meaning that it's come up as a potential duplicate at least once, rather than having all contacts and then just some of them uh, have a duplicate record item as well. So we're going to make this to where only those that have triggered duplicate rule and therefore have a duplicate record item associated with them. And then I'm going to click save. And I'm just going to take the defaults here and not worry about further honing this in or filtering or the default fields in the report. But what I want to do now is go back into reports and refresh to pull in the latest metadata from my org to pull in that new custom report type. Let me just go ahead and search for it. And so I've got contact duplicates, then click continue. And so I'll go ahead and address the filters here. And instead of just showing my contacts, I want to see all contacts 
and apply. And then I want to change this filter from a custom birth date range to just create a date and select all time and apply. And so now we have a preview because this is updated to preview automatically of the full name of the record, the duplicate record item. Let's see what other fields we can include here. And so you can further adjust this report to include things such as the account that the contact belongs to. And as you select these, they'll just refresh over here and uh, appear in the next column over. I'm going to include contact ID. And so you can select all fields from the contact record. And then as you scroll down, you get into the duplicate record items. You can include created by the contact owner. And one thing you could do is under contact or under duplicate record item, last modified by, this will give you the actual name of the user. This gives you who last modified the contact record and it's an automated process because uh, even though I was the one that introduced that, it's identified as an autom automated process because the duplicate rule is causing that alert to display which creates the duplicate record item. And here's my duplicate record set name. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and run. And so now by way of creating this custom report type on these contact duplicates, you can monitor more closely whenever your users are ignoring the potential duplicates. Also, you can hone in on which duplicate rules are causing these alerts to appear so you can fine tune them further as well. So be sure and check out the help article as well for custom creating reports on duplicate records. And you may want to take a look at your own duplicate record sets in your own org that is available from the app launcher, just selecting or searching for duplicate record sets. And that way you can see just how problematic your duplicate alerts may be in your own org. And if you found this Salesforce video helpful, please do like, subscribe, leave a comment down below of what you'd like to learn in Salesforce. And I just might make it my next video. Until then, I'll see you in the cloud.